Hey everybody, and welcome to our next big session of Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness, where we head on to the final world of the game, Haunted Halloween. And just in time, too, because we brought along the kitty cat. Hello! Okay, that, I'll admit that was in a different direction than what I was expecting, because I was going to be like, Guys, guys, you won't believe it, we brought the actual Miss Pac-Man here with us. This is where waka waka. I was, <laughs> was going to do the joke of saying, we made a haunted Halloween, and just in time, it's November 15th. <laughs> At the time of recording. Oh uh, yes, it's November 15th. Wow, I can't believe Thanksgiving is like, what, one week away? Yeah, it's like... I feel like I talked about this before, but I'm just still amazed just by how quickly this year went. It did. Man. I am very confused by this, James, or immediately off the bat. Alright, so first of all, you just saw Miss Pac-Man literally chomp on a hellhound. Yes, like, no I joke, saw that's, that. That's the name of the enemy variety. I saw uh, that. Secondly, um... I, I yeah, mean, like... It, oh, it's this way. Okay, I was going to say. Because right in the loading zone for this area, I saw that exact same geometry. There were pe pellets everywhere, and I see no pellets. Uh, probably, you know what, they, this pack probably ate all those pellets prior. Uh, now, naturally speaking, while you're here, the elect oh. obviously don't get yourself hurt by the electricity, because it actually works really freaking bad in this game. As you uh, do. Cool. Mm. Secondly, secondly um, uh -huh. actually, I don't know what else I was going to say on that matter. Uh, I will say that I I've been noticing a trend with the Pac-Man games that the final level is always like a haunted Halloween spooky thing, which at first always confuses. Every time I yeah, I was about to say every time I see it, it confuses me. But then I then I remind my myself, that's right, ghosts. That's why it's it's always that's why it's always been uh, thematically appropriate. Well, I guess if, if you oh boy, well I guess if you had your way in that regard, Logan, like what would you rather they use for like the the final level aesthetic? The pellets are attacking you. And now who is the true hunter and who is the true hunted? Like, they they just become sentient. They're almost like little pack mouths themselves. That'd be really <laughs> mean. I, I'm, I would not be against that if the ghost witch queen had an actual, like, if that was actually her plan at one point was to, like, say, hey, I have an idea. Let's have the ghosts actually, like, possess the pellets and send them out after the pack. That'd be a very cruel and wicked curse that that be placed upon the Pac lands. Pac Man's like, like how would the how would the Pac Men survive? Pac dogs and Pac cats living with living each together. Other. Asteria. Yeah. <laughs> but as it stands, so, so Jordy, uh, you decided to join to tag along with us for this, and thus I must now ask the age-old initiation question of: <laughs> Do you have any? Welcome to our club. Welcome to our club. <laughs> So waka, 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 waka. <laughs> do you have any, uh... Have you played much of the Pac-Mans in your time? Well, I have played the classic arcade game. Uh, you know, that's usually available in whatever arcade uh, machines they have in restaurants. Mm -hmm. And I can definitely say for sure that my dad is the biggest fan of Pac-Man ever. And he's done... Like a lot, he's broken a lot of records uh, throughout his years. Like, nice. I'm trying to remember how many years ago it was, but I remember for Christmas I got him a Pac-Man shirt. Aww. Aww. Uh, did did either you or him have any experience with the Miss Pac-Man arcade cabinet? I have not. I'll have to ask my dad if he has, cause I'm not sure. Okay, because oh, I know, but because right. I don't know if I ever mentioned it before, but uh, Miss Pac-Man uh, between the two of them, Miss Pac-Man is the one that I've had like the most experience with, mostly because it was one of the two, actually not even wanted to, just the only arcade cabinet that the the Pizza Hut that we used to have here had. Oh, okay. See, most of the pizza place I had to, they they never really had Pac-Man actually. Uh, ironically enough, they always had uh, Ow. They always had um, Rampage though for some reason. Rampage. Oh, which Rampage. Rampage? Uh, I think it was the the one where they travel around the world one. Oh, oh the second one. World tour. Yeah, right. that, yeah, that was the arcade okay. cabinet that I that was the arcade cabinet I usually saw. Man, like that's like honestly, I don't think the closest I've had to something like of that caliber, what like with Rampage, is the bowling alley that I used to go to in Florence. It used to have like a House of the Dead one cabinet. I remember because Ooh. me and my friend would pump a bunch of quarters just trying to beat it, and we could never finish it because of the devil damn magician at the end. Yeah, always the magician. Ah, damn. Also, ah, interesting. Pumpkins are now amongst the fruit that we'll collect. 
Uh, no, that's a, that's not a pumpkin. That's a coconut. That's a coconut? Why is there a coconut in a haunted a place? Uh, it, it, well, that's always a forgotten question. Reason. Why is there also a pretzel in a haunted place? I was looking at that and I just, I never, I never saw a coconut with that big of a lump. Okay, we I got mean, pretzel. pretzels nowadays I can kind of understand because, you know, it's a traditional snack. But, I, but come on, coconuts? Actually, what I'm confused about is that, like, maybe I'm just, like, a coconut noob, but I never knew any of them with, like, a little stock on the top. I'm not, actually, another thing about it, I'm not even sure if that's supposed to be a coconut or what, but, like, I know it's supposed oh, to be... Oh, you know what? Maybe it's a peach. Looks a little too brown to be a peach. Hmm. Oh, that's true. Um, uh, would you... Honestly, would you mind checking the, uh, whatever Pac-Man yes. wiki this details all the this Pac-Man fruit? Because there's, like, very specific ones. Like, the, again, there's, there's always the cherry, strawberry, whatever the third one is, a pretzel, uh, yeah, bananas... Yeah, sure up. Manual... Ms. Pac-Man, Maze Madness Manual. Let's see what I can find. Ow! Ouch. Right up the dog's butt. Oh, it's a suppository. Never to be seen again. And the last thing she saw when she died was the fucking butthole of a hellhound. That's a horrible I was curse. gonna say a very bad joke, but I don't think I should. Okay, so these are the fruit that- okay, these are the fruit that are, uh, that are on display. Actually, yeah, yeah well, the hellhounds do a lot of fucking damage. Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out, like, where are you supposed to go from- uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, where are you supposed to go from here? Like, okay, because I know you can jump up. And then I can see where. Oh wait, can you? Are you able to push that block? Maybe. Chew on that, buzz sucker. Hmm. That could be it. James. Uh, it was just there. Okay, there it it's okay. We're, we're back. We're back. Uh, oh, but you know, what? I see now where you can go. You take that bouncy pad up top, James. Right, that one. That's right. And you just mm -hmm. take that over to the left, and then woo, we're off. We're home free. Oh my gosh. Hey, go. Chewery. I think he skipped. The... I think he forgot to pick up the pretzel though. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Well, you can Actually, yeah, where is the? <laughs> yeah, wow, it was all on the things. I got, I got so distracted with all the hellhounds, I completely forgot that. Oh, that's right, I died. So all the uh, fruit have been. Yeah, uh, it's down eaten. there. It's down here. I could go for a little oh, there it in is. my life. Whew, that's good. Okay, so here are the foods that Miss Pac-Man can eat on her travels. Uh, one, of course, there are your pack dots, power pellets, uh, the cherry, strawberry, peach. So it is peach. Okay, so it is a peach. Pretzel, yeah, looks, apple, and looks banana. Looks very oddly color for a peach. Yeah, I agree. It's very and then of all, brown. And then of all things, of, of all the things that you eat, the quest game, the only other item, the only other enemy besides ghosts that this game uh, actually lists go. out, nice, that this game actually lists out as an eatable enemy are the centipedes. Which is mm. because which it is weird considering you could pretty much eat anything else alone, assuming you have a power pellet. Right, like, but it's like the, in this N64 manual for the game, it's the only thing that they actually like, like you know, tally up as an individual score is the centipedes. They say that it's 1,600 points if you eat the whole centipede. Mm. I mean, all things considered, I, I, that, that, that's just to show that you know they're not spoiling the rest of the game. Yeah, you, got fun, you got to see the rest of it for yourself. Yeah, I'll, after that, all, all there is is a sentence that says, There are even tougher enemies worth big points if you manage to defeat them. Big points. Big points. Big points, Mario! Let's see if I can find anything else in this manual, like in terms of the story, because usually these things have, this is usually how nope. it all goes down. Um, talks about more. the princess vanishing without a trace, yada yada. Boring. Uh, oh, here it goes. Globox stole Pac Man's arms. What? Waka, uh, waka, 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 waka. I don't know how to translate that. Not, ju not just his arms, but his legs as well. Now he can't even kick or hop. It's very, very oh. embarrassing. Oh. Glowbox is the... So you're saying Glowbox was the, the bubblegum witch? Yes. Wait, what's the bubblegum witch? Wait, what's the bubblegum witch? Well, I just say, I just say bubblegum witch because I know that was like her big plot in uh, Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. Right, oh. I completely forgot about that. And oh, hey, what luck. Nice, a full heal. And we're Not out just a full heal, but a full extension, uh, a health, health extension. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the yellow heart, right. golden hearts do that, right? Okay. Oh, and uh, what? Need a key. the gold key. I need another yellow key. You I need think a gold near... key. I, I want to say there was one nearby, unless I skipped, a, accidentally skipped it. See, I thought you had a yellow key earlier, but um, uh, uh, I know the blue key takes me to the goal, but where's that other yellow key? Oh, oops. How's oh. <laughs> <laughs> I find out? You don't Man, find. Did you just take? Don't you just take when you misplace your house keys? Every time, every time. Yeah. I know I can. Get, I know I can get it. I didn't notice any witch blocks along the way, so I mean, I may as well make the effort so I can get that extra star. Okay. So while he's out doing that, uh, we'll say that now that we are getting, now that we are, uh, oh. now that we are fast approaching the, uh, the, the the wonderful spooky time of the uh -huh. year. You mean Christmas? Yes. <laughs>
Now that we're leaving behind the spooky time of the year, going for the nice I festive mean, time of the year. I mean, you are a quarter correct because they do retellings of, you know, a Christmas carol, which is considered a spooky story. Well, I mean, in some ways it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, they got, well, it's spooks used to teach a greater lesson, a, a greater Christmassy lesson. Yeah. That is very true. Just like the grand story of Pinocchio. You know what, since you're... Oh, I'm sorry. No, yeah, because I, I, you, 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 you were picking up what I was putting down, so what do you have to say? Uh, that reminds me, what are your guys' favorite classic either story or movie oh. for that's Christmas-themed or holiday-themed? That was not what I was hmm. putting down, but I will agree and understand and go forward with that. Um... Now that's that's where the goal is, but I don't want to go to go there just yet. I still need to find that other key I missed. I, I think I think you have to push all the buttons to get. Oh no no no! You can keep moving. No, I already took care of that. Let uh, me see. Like as far here. as like as far as like you know standard timeless Christmas specials go, um, I personally don't think you can go wrong with Christmas Carol. But if you're if you're looking for less conventional, ah, there it is. There ah. you go. Jesus, I you know that goes with show. I you, always like thoroughly check your mazes for any you know other thing, things you might have missed. For mazes. Really grasp it. Exactly. <laughs> but yes, uh, hi. Uh, what would you say is your go-to Christmas tale? Ow. Uh, let me see. Like I said, if I'm if I'm restricted to like the the more timeless stuff, um, I personally think you can never go wrong with Christmas Carol. Maybe it's a Wonderful Life, but I haven't seen that film in years. Um, if you want me to pick like much less conventional ones, um, lately I've been kind of making a tradition to watch the uh, Muppet Christmas uh, get together, where it's like almost all the Jim Henson creations gathering at Fozzie's mom's place. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. yeah, I love that's that a, one. That is still that is still such a uh, blessed uh, story. It is, and so it's just like I remember because like we as a group watched it uh, a couple of years ago there for the first go. time, and the thing that always gets to me is like the genuine reaction that Jordan, Allie, and Celie had the second she, they saw all the Sesame Street characters coming up from around the mountainside. Yeah. Oh yeah, like that was fun. And just. Uh, Anyway, and I, I hate to do these to you guys, but uh, you've literally seen the rest of the level, so we will be right back. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm listening to the lightning now, and hang on. Let's see. For some reason, it sounds less like lightning and more like the vine boom. <laughs> oh, wait, you want to go right? You want to go right? Oh, yeah, you're right. That is the way out. We're ready to leave. Welcome back, everybody. He's right. Oh, yeah. Hi. He did it. Anyway, smell you later, shit heels. We finally did it. But yeah, just to resume our conversation, because I would mention more, but I feel like you guys might mention them in your takes. So, uh, Logan, what would you say are your favorite uh, Christmas specials? Well, uh, really quickly, went back to the uh, the Muppet Family, Family Christmas. I still love that. Hey, right, what is this? Oh, uh, where are you come from? This is small talk. Now that it's a fun one. That's a fun It is a fun one. Uh, but. Uh, in terms of my favorite go to, in terms of my favorite go to uh, Christmas movies, again, it's been uh, I already showed you guys a long time ago. Christmas Vacation is a is a funny one I enjoy. Um, I, I've now I've since added Klaus to a list that I enjoy oh, watching yeah! every, every oh, single. I forgot like, about Klaus. Oh, jeez. Well, for, well, first of all, Klaus is a very good movie. I do agree. Secondly, this one this bonus round sucks too. Oh boy, what's gonna happen? In this adventure. Oh, you know, the more I think about it, it feels like all the bonus rounds suck. Uh, the one on the bo the one on the boat is fine, but this one is very hair raising because it's pretty much an obstacle course. Where, as uh, Professor Pack said earlier, uh, you'll have to collect all the fruit that are in the uh, maze. Oh boy. Woof. And not now. That being said, uh, this is a level that actually repeats. Like oh, so. so it's Frogger. But the more it repeats, the harder it gets. Okay, so I mean, I'm saying and if it. at any point you die, you have to do the entire thing again from scratch. Oh no! It, uh, all I'm saying is, game. It's not a bonus round if you're requiring players to do this. Now it's a, just a round. Oh! Yeah, that's ah, right. ha, 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 ha. Oh jeez! Don't, don't take through it. You don't. Well, I guess technically, I was gonna say you don't have the health system like the newer Frogger games, but I was like, technically, you do have a health system, so that joke would have fell flat. <laughs> it's all good. Um, but anyway, uh, that's right. I could also talk about that really quickly. Mentioning that, yeah, there was, there was this one time. Oh, and uh, some of the nitro traits will actually have a timer now. Great. Uh, there was this one time. Uh -oh. 
There was this one time I did actually get electrocuted because I was trying to grab a, grab at a wire. I was very young. Mm -hmm. I was trying to grab at a plug. To, you know what it was? So we used to have this lamp that was that was whoa that was right above a, a table or dresser. And whatever reason, the dresser drawer kept getting closed multiple times. So eventually, when we tried to remove the lamp, the cable actually had been completely like disconnected, like just wore, wear and tear, just basically severed oh. from one end to the other. So when I had to reach in and grab the plug to remove no. it, fuck, oh. man. Shit. Yeah, that's something I noticed. Like, w the further you get into it, they start detonating automatically. Ugh. They do, and it, it sucks. But uh, I'll give it one more honest to God try. A after that, though, I we need to get a move on. Agreed. Oh, yeah. Because it's not the it's not it's not quite the last world. Oh, oh. that was not an honest to God try. You well, that was you your last it. try. That was not. An no. honest try. I'll do one more college try. For okay. Terry. But anyway, um, yeah, so I basically re reached, grabbed the cable, and tried to pull, and the first, next thing I knew, it was, like, very jolty, and I was, like, on the floor, and Ooh. my hand was black, but I realized it was just either from oh. soot or something else, like dust or something, like, n nothing, I oh, was not hurt, it just very much made me jump, like, okay, where are you going? Because I was, I was gonna, because I was about to say, that sounds like, I'm glad you're alive, but man. Yeah, yeah again, I was, crap. I'm too stubborn to die occasionally, maybe. So you're Wario. I hope that does not become. I hope that does not become a poorly aged statement. No, so, no. But yeah, in terms of my Christmas things, that's basically. You'll live longer than Twitter, that's for sure. Yes. And so, but yeah, beyond that, my go, my other Christmas go-to's would be the Home Alone one and two. Oh, right. I love Home Alone two. Uh, that that's pretty much all I got right now. Uh, Jordy, you have any go-to's? Well, I mentioned Christmas Carol is my favorite tale. As far as my favorite movies go, I definitely love Nightmare Before Christmas. That's a duh. But, mm -hmm. uh... That's the kind of movie you can watch with, watch either time of the year. That is yeah. true. Uh, in oh, terms I... of, like, classic Christmas stuff, or, you know, Christmas in general, I think... Oh, I... Oh, hello! Oh, oh jeez. Oh, Why even gotcha? I don't know what the hell got me. Like, maybe it was the edge? I need to test that now. Yeah, well, I mean... Do I die if... Oh, well. Yeah, oh. wow, it is actually a death plane. Huh. So is that now your fourth to last try? Yeah. yeah, I think that's a, that's our last last try. We gotta get a move on. Yeah, let's keep good. going. Back to you, Jordy. I was so I was so proud too because I made so much progress. You were doing very good. Yeah, you were. Just... Anyway, how, who's all ready for a creature feature? Ooh. Ooh. What kind of creature feature? Uh, it stars a fanged pack. A fanged Gee. pack. A fanged pack? Or actually, no. It's it, it involves Franken pack. Franken pack. Uh, oh, there he is down there. Oh. oh. He is both a blessing and a curse when it comes to this uh, type of little terrain. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but but more yeah. on him later. That, okay. But yeah, back to you, Jordy. Um, anyway. Uh, man, there, there's a lot of cl timeless classics where I feel like uh, are really good, but one that I think is kind of underrated is Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. All right. Are you saying that because of Tim Curry, Oregon? No, I actually really like it. That's fair. I like I like I like the musical number as long as there's Christmas. I just like what was it? I just think that uh, oh poor little guy. Oh, he's gonna absorb the movie. shocking for you. Yep. Yep. Aw, thank you. So nice. when he does absorb the shock, it also means that there's gonna be another one in its place. Also, the vampire the vampire packs Whoa, will oh kiss my ass because. And they go, they go blow at you and then turn to a bat and then fly wherever they want to on the maze. I do not go blah blah blah. No, you bleh. just go blah. And all I say, bleh. oh come oh. on. Hey come I on. I say bleh. You do not and eat me today. Okay, maybe you too do. Late. Too late. But yeah, the other oh thing was. Oh my goodness. Um, but I mean, yeah, no, I I also think that Enchanted Christmas is. I would say it's the har It's one of the more harmless Disney directed DVD sequels. Yeah. Or interquels or whatever we're calling them. All right, fine. Actually, just talking about Disney real quick. Um, another one that, okay, a handful, but the the first one I'll bring up is uh, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. Oh, oh yeah, I one. love that one. Do you have anything bigger? I need one right here. And then the big, <laughs> giant display of the, what was it? An ornament comes in. Ooh, I'll take it. <laughs> there's hmm. that, and and then there's me who somehow. I actually find some entertainment out of Twice Upon a Christmas. Um, Twice Upon a Christmas is decent. It's 
I'll say I'll agree with people in that it's not as good as the first film, but I think it's largely harmless. I agree. The most I'll say about it is that the CG is definitely not aged all that well. Yeah. I'll say the CG in certain things. Like, I think Donald, Goofy, Pluto, and some of the ducks look fine. It's, it's everyone else that could look better. Yeah. Also, I, I will never forget. I mean, I can, I can sort of understand the reasoning, but I very, I don't know how to feel about the fact that they gave Max a new girlfriend for that one. It was very strange. Also, and thankfully, very short lived. Yes, it was. Yeah, well, I mean, like that—that's that, how young love is. Go from just bounce from one to another. I'm just sitting here, like, man, I just maybe maybe it was coping just because I needed I. I, I, I need more Mickey. I want more, like, proper Mickey Mouse content that's not just branding. And that's actually a quick little side here. Apparently that uh, Mickey Mouse documentary that's being made, that Story of a uh -huh. Mouse thing, actually, uh -huh. I'm surprised. It actually covers certain topics that I was not, I was not, uh, I was I, I not think... expecting uh, Disney, I almost said Nintendo, I was not <laughs> expecting Disney to cover, like, the documentary hosted officially on Disney Plus actually does touch upon the controversial nature of the fact of the whole like should Mickey Mouse be allowed to enter public access or should they continue this weird legal feud they're doing to try and keep him copywritten even though it's been decades now I feel yeah. like you know as much as I like I get why people want it to happen because you know they want more things out of Mickey than Disney's really letting them do. Like, I applaud the idea of letting other people have a take at Mickey, you know, just to keep his adventures going and whatnot. I don't know if I really trust the public with Mickey, though, considering what the public thinks of Mickey already. Yeah. I just... Oh. I, I, don't, I mean, I just don't even know what they would I'll do. I'll be right like... back, guys. I gotta take some medicine. No okay. worries. Okay. Uh, but, I mean, because, like, in hindsight, like, I'm just thinking, like, I don't even know what... Wait, was there like a key we were supposed to get from that or something, or was that just? No, like... I think I know what I gotta do. Okay, uh, right around here, actually. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. It was icy. It was just. It was just enough to give us enough pellets to do this. Yep. So Sweet. now we can get a red key out of it. And okay. Next fruit. Alrighty. Um, but no, it's like an icy. Then we double back, and then. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember which way I go. I think we double back from this way. That's why we have to shoot that thing. Uh, let's see. Because I remember there was a red door this way. I want to say. Or I'm misremembering. There's a peach up there. There's a peach up there. Yeah, this is it. Okay, okay, cool. Um, M M don't mind me, Frankie. But yeah, no. I'm back. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, okay, nicey. Then let's let's, let's let's continue even further. If you have enough do pellets, anyway. I believe we do. Yes. Okay. Whoa. You doubt me in my in my pellet ga gathering abilities? My pellet game. <laughs> oh boy, how goes? Freaking hellhounds. But um, but no, it's like. I, because, like, I mean, I'm even thinking, about, like, how would that work? Like, okay, I guess as an example, just to maybe either assuage any, like, assuade, that's the word, Jesus, uh, to, to maybe hopefully assuade any, like, concerns I'm having. Oh, what are other, ah, oh, well, what are other characters that have entered the public domain that people have any, like, is Woody Woodpecker in public domain? I don't think so. No, they're still owned by Universal. Okay. Uh, I think Oswald should technically be in the public domain by now. Um, I know for a fact... I might be wrong. I want to say Felix the Cat might be in the public domain. He's certainly old enough. He is. Oh, he is in public domain? For some reason, I thought he had another year or two. No, nah, he, he's, uh, I think he's in the, he should be in the public domain right now. He was, uh, he was pre-1920s. Right, he was before uh, okay. Mickey Mouse, I want to say. Yeah, like, I think um, he did turn 100 yeah. last year, didn't he? I think so. But it's like, so, I mean, in that case, like, right away... Uh, if you're, oh, real quick, if you're wondering why I had that, uh, that, that very... Thro throaty reaction there, Jordy. That's a witch block. These blocks here are of the witch's insignia, and when that happens, when you see one of those, say goodbye to any chance of getting all this, all the stars you want in the uh, level. Yeah, basically, uh... it's the, basically it's the game's incentive of going back and replaying levels after you beat the boss. Mm. Yeah, and it's I don't know. I think the, again, I think the backtracking. Some game, backtracking may be required, and I and I agree that and I agree that in a game like this, I don't think backtracking is really necessary for a pack. Yeah, game. it just doesn't feel quite right. Yeah, uh, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I'll probably take the, I'll take the bot. Well, I mean, I could just blow both of them up. Yeah, you could. There is a respawn token. But I'm feeling like being a sissy and saying I think we should play it safe and go the non-zappy route. Aren't they both technically zappy routes? Oh, but I want to take the zappy route because that's where there's a that's where a apple is. But then again, I guess now that I think about it, if I saw that witch, 
I mean, you never know. Like, there again, there are some times where even if there's a witch block, that doesn't automatically mean you're screwed out of getting either all the fruit or all the dots. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm We can only know for certain. It's weird like that. You'll only know once you actually try and do it. He does, ah. But, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... So I guess by that regard, like, if... All like what I'm honestly predicting is that if Mickey were to oh, 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 oh. if what Mickey were to enter the public domain, I feel like what I feel like what some people think would happen is is we would get like oh my gosh all these unlicensed like like movies and like productions that like take Mickey in a whole new character. Whereas, well, they're kind honestly, of doing that already with Winnie the Pooh in a uh, sort of sense. But I feel like what we're gonna get yeah. more so. But I feel like what we're gonna get more so uh, a plentitude of. A word. I think what we're gonna get more so of is just a bunch of like unlicensed like T-shirts and product pla like easy product placements and like you know, Mickey Mouse getting tacked onto a bunch of things because most. I of mean, those... yeah, you, like yeah, like that hasn't been done already. Like, yeah. Remember, remember back when the whole when it was super popular to make gangsta versions of like classic cartoon characters and put them on a shirt. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm so glad that that phase may have passed us by. <laughs> Funny thing is that like some of them were even official like with Looney Tunes. That's right, those were actual products. But the Spongebob one wasn't, I don't think. Oh, the Spongebob, yeah, the Spongebob one Spongebob definitely, definitely wasn't. Because I've yeah. never seen that one a lot. Spongebob with grills is just not, not, that's, that's just not done, dear. It is definitely not done, dear. Oh, well, you have to put it back in the oven for a bit longer. It's undercooked. <laughs> and then Spongebob comes out as a full-fledged so, uh, I, I, I end, see, that's the tr that's the trick. I end my jokes like that so I don't actually have to have any responsibility of coming up with a punchline. Someone else's <laughs> imagination will do that for me. Okay. Well, Logan, you know what I say to that? Uh, the fans might be angry at that, so you might want to watch your pack. That is true. <sighs> you know what? I will, I will give you a palate cleanser, Logan, and just say, because I looked it up, uh, Oswald is actually 95. He will become oh, public domain no. in 2027. Okay. Oh, I thought, he, I thought he was older than that. No, he was created in 1927. Which makes sense, because I do I do recall Mickey Mouse recently celebrated, like, I want to say Mickey Mouse recently celebrated his 90th birthday at some point, like, right. a couple of years ago. So that would make sense. I thought it was last years. year. Was it last year? Was it? I think I it was, I thought it was actually. two years ago, wasn't it? I'm looking it up. I, I know yeah, it was recent-ish. It would have to have been 2018, because, you know, like, Mickey's birth was around, I want to say, uh, 1928. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? But yeah, no, I didn't think, I honestly didn't think Oswald and Mickey's birth were, was that close together. Like, I always figured, like, it, like, uh, like, Disney, uh, like, Disney still had, like, Oswald for a couple more years before needing to make Mickey Mouse. Yeah. I heard a crow. Yeah, again, we're in the spooky zone. Of course, there'd be like, a, like there'd be the occasional pro crooning or the or the hellhound howling. Wow. I okay. Guess... Well, his ninetieth birthday was on two thousand eight. Was in two thousand eighteen. So next okay. year will be. So yeah, next year will be Mickey's ninety fifth at ninety fifth birthday. Huh. Okay. So I mean, it's only by a couple of years, I guess. I guess. I guess if that's if that's the case, now that just makes me wonder. Like we talk about, like the the threat of if Mickey entered the public domain, since he's closer to it. Like, what do you think would happen if Oswald was ever entered into the public domain? Oh, oh, uh, Jesus. I don't know if it'll happen. Like you know, why why as soon as he gets into the public domain? But it would be interesting after you know. He and Mickey get into public domain that there's like another like <laughs> I, I would love that. to see another adaptation of Epic Mickey with those two. Or a different story with those two. Also, yeah, I just realized I moved this part out. Yeah. Um, um I was gonna say yeah, yeah, this like... is this one this part's kind of uh, tight, it looks like. Woo. Yes, it's very tight. Okay, here we go. Push. Anyway, I was just gonna say that, like, Back. I'm not quite sure if public domain would be, like, a good excuse for them to, like, do another Epic Mickey, because, like, you know, d despite them being, like, the title characters, there's a lot more of Disney's lore involved in that than just Mickey and Oswald. I forgot that right. there's, like, is there, like, a... Oh, oh, oh. Here. I forget, is there... <laughs> I forget, is there a, isn't there like some sort of clause somewhere that states that like, so long as you keep making, aww, that's Hi. silly. Uh, is there, Fairly impressive for PS1 standards. Yeah. Is there like some clause that like states that 
uh, if you, uh, if, as long as you just keep making material with that character, you can continue to, with, to, with, uh, to, with, to withhold the right. Okay, where'd you go? You, oh, you piece uh, of shit. I, I didn't know, know they could face do that. The walls. All right, well, that defeats that purpose now. Now we gotta blow up the wall, the block on the right. I was about to say, going back to what you were saying, Logan, I think that is a clause that they do with licensed characters. Uh, it's kind of no different than how they would, like, renew licenses for certain things. Like how, like, Nintendo would, like, regularly, like, refresh a license for an IP to make sure they still have the property for it. Right, or, like, the reason why, I guess, the fun fact was, you son of a bitch. Piece of shit, get away from me. Or how, like, the, or how, I guess... I hope you get blown up. Please. Oh. Actually, I'm... Can we shoot him? Got him. Why you have to be so dickish? Wow, he he really did not think that plan through, did he? <laughs> Just I shall spook of the. You know, in retrospect, this is very, very poorly thought out. Ah well. I don't know if he's a better or or worse, you know, attempted a pack vampire than the one in the cartoon because that one was pretty fucking silly. It was. Okay, I'll have fine, to take your word on that because I only barely like. I think the only memories I have of the Hanna-Barbera cartoon were actually the uh, Christmas special. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, Christmas Comes to Pac-Land. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, no, the, oh, yeah. um... But, yeah, no, it just, it just, it just thinking out loud that, like, yeah, like, the only... Again, the fact they can do that is cheap. But, uh, like, I know that, like, for instance, I know that that's why we got that really lame Tony Hawk game at some point, like, a couple years ago. Like, the one right before the Tony Hawk 1 and 2 remastered. Um, there was, right. a, there was a, there was a really poor Tony Hawk game that was... Basically, a lot of people believe it was just pretty much just shout out because... Oh, uh, Pro Skater 5. Yeah, the, a lot of people believe that that game was so poorly, like, it was basically just cobbled together and slapped and thrown out there because they knew that they were going to lose the rights uh, to it uh, if they didn't make a game in a certain amount of time. Like, it, it's, it's also why, like, certain movies, like, certain movies will get, like, a really lame sequel because they're not really trying, but they don't want... Aw. But they don't want anybody else to be able to make those movies. It's a lame pro. It's a lame, but which by the way, a pretty lame, uh, like, a thing to do. Like, if you know you're not going to make anything quality with it, why prevent anyone else from making quality things with it? Yeah, really. Because they're selfish. That and usually you could argue the reason is because they don't even they don't even care about making new things. They just want to capitalize on the old things over and over and over again and just collect residuals on that. Yeah. I want to say that sounds like a very Ubisoft thing, but I they're they're not, not even they are that generous. Why? Don't you freaking dare! Why do you why do you do this to me? Okay, easy does it. I just want the friend. I will get the. I thought I got rid of you <laughs> like a few. Oh jeez. Let me be your friend, please. We can go to the movies and share popcorn together. All I just wanted was a shoot him. It's just so sudden every time. He ain't coming back yep. after that one. You know, you know he, he ain't gonna be in Hotel Transylvania too. Uh, he better freaking not. Yeah, we unfortunately have no way of to get it oh. in just yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to play it safe. As it does it. Just get to the cautious. right, upper right, upper right. Just making sure that I didn't miss anything else. Okay. Okay, safe. Alrighty. Uh, anyway, um. Anyway, oh, uh, <laughs> all that trouble, and I see that shit. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, like, I was not expecting. Honest, oh boy, <laughs> that shop was her last. Okay, so power pellets do not make you invincible like that. Oh, right, <laughs> do, which you know is all the more reason, all the more funnier why we have, why you know, pack made repacks version of the power pellet is utterly broken. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I was just about to say, like, honestly, just seeing that. I, it's dumb, but I feel like that shouldn't surprise me since this is like the, the witch's lair. So I feel like it would make sense for her to have those blockades. Well, I, I, yeah, I mean, she, she's 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 a she's a locking up her secret stash, hoping that no dirty old good, two, goody two shoe packing boots goes right in after after and munches all of her all of her you know rations. I was more surprised that they would have, that they would appear more than once. Usually, so far, it's only been like one once per level per world. Does it? Uh, yeah. I actually I don't even remember. I want to say there was at least two we encountered back to pack thing, but um, oh, that could be it, maybe. Eh. Regardless, I mean it's it's just one of those things. Is that is that a hazard to be wary of? That those big pair of eyes? No, that's just aesthetic. Okay. 
I totally would. You know what? I could totally believe them taking a cue from uh, the original Crash Bandicoot, where like a hand would suddenly pop out of there what? if you weren't being careful. Oh, I thought it was gonna happen. Speaking of oh. not being careful, James. It'll be okay, James. Uh, the perfect thing you need right now is to be distracted from critical precision platforming. So, James, what? Because uh, I don't think we mentioned what were some of your go-to holiday movie classics. Uh, let me think. I do remember watching uh, Frosty the Snowman a handful of times. Oh back yes, oh, that's Frosty's nice. a classic. What the? Mm -hmm. How did he do that? I don't know. Beats me. Well, I mean, technically you can't drop off this, so just wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Come here, beautiful. <laughs> Come here, big boy. <laughs> He's like, you think I'm beautiful? I and this I'd is the like part where I say, "Come to Mama." I like you, Osmond, or whatever his name was. Oh, uh, Orson. Orson, I like you, Orson. I love you, Orson. I man, I wonder how things would how things would have been if they actually kept that one for the original game or for repack. I just think that just the fact that they actually kept that ending period of him eating Orson, I just think was a lot better than I was expecting, not gonna lie. It's just blunt to yeah. the point, that's Pac- That's the thing, Pac-Man usually doesn't really- Pac-Man doesn't typically have a personality, that's his whole thing is, I eat stuff. Well, there have been games that tried to give him, like, a particularly wholesome personality. Like, for example, like, discounting that ending, like, the world games have usually been pretty good about having him being, like, a particularly wholesome character. He's a boy scout. I mean, you know, he's just another Mario. Oh, right. Ooh, you just made it. Just like that, oh, we're done. the last gem of whatever. Yeah, I, I lost count of what this one's supposed to be. I don't think they even explicitly say what it is. I'll look it up. Into the Pumpkin's Mall. Oh. I, oh, I always love the taste of pack pellets in the morning. Oh, oh hang on. I think I got one of her boots stuck in my teeth. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> uh, so, nothing quite like getting leather stuck in your teeth. Okay, so it was And I'm the... just sitting here going like, I wonder if it smells like pumpkin pie. Okay, so to continue our idiot parallels that we were having earlier, that is the Gem of Courage we just got. Okay. Idiot. Oh, wow, I was, oh, wow, I was right. After wisdom comes courage. Nice. So where's the Gem of Power? Um, Goblin. Maybe Goblin has it. Oh, boss time, right. Ah, yes, the... Welcome to the only boss that... Well, okay, technically there's two bosses, but this is the first one in particular, because we're already at the end of the game, technically speaking. Ah. Now we confront the witch. <laughs> that expression, she's like, oh! Well, too bad! Oh! Okay. So now, meet the poster boy of Pet this Pac-Man Maze Madness. He Goblin. looks... I forgot about this, that they basically made a corrupted Pac-Man. Ah. Oh, God. He's literally on the box art. He's like the most striking thing this game has to start from this Pac-Man. So... So run away. I mean, either way, uh, run for your no- RUN FOR YOUR NO GOOD LIVES! Oh yeah, I decided to look up- I actually decided to look up the cover art of Maid Masses, and yep, sure enough, with realistic teeth oh. and all. They- it's like, the box art is literally the final boss. It's like, they spoiled that- that twist early on. Yeah. That seems to be a thing I've noticed with a lot of games. Like, I remember back when we were talking about, um... A creature from the Krusty Krab. Basically, the box art for that is like spoiling a, a later level, a much later level of the game. Right, and oh, I mean, it's it, it's supposed to be. The, it is technically the one thing that's supposed to really hook you on the idea. Also, I'm assuming these green yeah. gooey platforms are slower to walk on. Yeah. Yes. Oh dear. Basically, just find the most optimal path through this uh, short-term maze and uh, try to get oh. out quick before Goblin munches up this pack. <laughs> also, in some ways, I like to I like to think of this as a funny little twist on the usual. Like you know, we always use everyone sees Pac-Man as like just nothing more than a than a circle that with a mouth. Here, it's taken it to its most logical extreme. You are just the right size of a pellet for this thing. Exactly. Yeah. Also, it's the pellet that's running away. Also, we'll say. Uh, yeah, that witch is... Actually, now that I think about it, wouldn't it be some shit if, it, like, the big twist is that this the witch actually captured Pac-Man and turned him into this? I actually... Oh, yeah, that I, would I don't be know if so... Namco, I don't know if Namco would let them get away with that, honestly. I'd buy it. I wouldn't be surprised if that was an original idea and they had to scrap it at the last minute. And... Because I remember in, the, in like, the radio... Like, the radio... Um, or infomercials for this game, they did mention something along the lines of Pac Miss Pac-Man's out on this quest to save Pac-Man from the evil witch. But Pac-Man's not even in this game, hmm. technically speaking. Yeah, I guess so. Also, yeah, the witch looks like a little goblin thingy, and it's kind of silly. She does. Yeah. She's not even a full 2D object. Well, here, well, she here is a, she's a 3D object, I mean. So how do we defeat her? 
Basically, nope. you have to have to shoot her a shooter when she's on specifically colored windows that correlate with the, the also with the specifically colored turrets. I see. The red ones will aim high. The blue ones will aim low. Yep. Dear. Unfortunately, in the meanwhile, uh, Nesmeralda here is also going to be, to be launching all of her fireballs at you, and depending on the color, they have certain properties that you got to watch out for. This is a war of attrition. We are kind of. health. But thankfully, thankfully uh, occasional hearts do spawn, so grab those if you can get the chance. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, because I was about to say, otherwise it looks like they are just, like, throwing everything and the kitchen sink in this. Yeah, I, 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 I don't believe we... I, for, this, I forget if we had picked up a, uh, a particular difficulty, like, setting, but she is attacking way too fast <laughs> to get, like, a and proper... frequently. To get a, like, yeah, yeah, to get a proper, like, window of, like, a damage on, but, uh... How would you? I mean, just it'll it'll take me a few tries. I'll I'll just say that right now. Careful, careful. But yes, uh, but yeah, Frosty Snowman. I remember, I remember. Well, I remember even kind of getting a kick out of Frosty Returns, the little like uh, not not as not as remembered, but also kind of silly uh, Frosty the Snowman sequel. Oh, that's movie. the that's the one that had John Goodman as Frosty, right? Yes. Yes, I love Was that one. <laughs> Yeah, it was mm -hmm. this, it was a movie where John Goodman was John Goodman was Frosty, and the whole story was that a, a, some old geezer did not like snow and created a a, 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 hel a handy little spray that uh, yeah smart thinking uh, that would that would that would uh, basically actually just melt, melt snow, snow just permanently. I just say that because I the, the only other thing I remember aside from John Goodman being in it is the fact that I swear the animation on it it's. I might be wrong, but it feels like it's the same team that animates a lot of the Garfield uh, holiday specials, because a lot of the movements in it feel like they were ripped out of, like, the Garfield Halloween special. I mean, honestly, you compare that to Garfield, I always compare that to Charlie oh, Brown. Yeah, I was going to say, some of those fire effects, especially the green ones, those linger way too long. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this feels... Honestly, now that I think about it, I'm, I can sort of see where uh, the uh, same developers took their inspirations for the spooky fight. Bam! There you go. Is that it? Ding dong, the witch is down. Oh, it is for now, anyway. Yeah, because uh, believe it or not, technically this isn't the end of the game. Shoot her! Oh, bye bye! She gets away with it. Oh no, how long is this gonna play? Oh, oh, a shiny thing. She dropped something while she made her escape. A purple key. A cock keys. Let's get out of here. <laughs> But I see exactly what that key that key shape is meant for. Oh, oh. ouch! Hurry, you don't get away before she notices. Oh man, how am I supposed to go get my groceries? My key! Ah! I can't get to my crystal ball, and the gems are useless to me without it. Oops. So yeah, there's your incentive for backtracking. Cause now, with that key in hand. We can open up all those witch blockades we've been seeing all across the game. Yep. Oh boy. Do we want to do that? I will do this much. Um, I'll show off at least one level where you gotta do a back do backtracking. But after that, I'm actually going to uh, swap over to a different save file I have to save on that TDM. Okie dokie. Okay. But but so 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 I guess so at this point I guess clarify to the others. Uh, so what are the purpose of the stars and why we've we been needing this entire time? Because there, because uh, every level has a stargate you need to. Uh, it basically has a star requirement you need to fulfill before you can access it. Got oh okay. for this for this final world we're going towards. Well, no, just the levels in general. Oh, actually, oh, look sandwich. at that. I actually, I actually do have enough for sandwich. Oh, sandwich. But that being said, though, I will be saving this for a future session because that's this is essentially the last big stretch of the game. Okay. Where you get to go through every single le level trope again. With a different, with different level design that leads all the way back to well, the witch's the witch's lair. Oh, okay. Alrighty. In the meanwhile, I'll go ahead and backtrack to a different to a earlier level. Honestly, yeah, let's just take it, keep it simple and go to Cleopatra. Okay. Cleopatra. That'll be a nice little roundabout. Yep. Session. This is actually the first level of the game, uh, Jordy. Yep. In, in ye old pack Egypt. Listen to that pack jam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now that we have the witch's key in hand, that'll be there whenever we feel like. Well, it'll just be there for the rest of the game, and again, we can use it to open up all those blockades. Uh, that being said, um, I will say in preparation of this playthrough, I was tempted to uh, use a cheat to uh, just have it on my person at all times, just to not even bother with all the, ba the backtracking. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. 
But I figured maybe that would have been a little too disingenuous. And again, I do already have the save file on hand for, you know, a different version of the game I'll be using to uh, do the rest of all the do the rest of the game with. Makes sense. But uh, oh. that being said, uh, we'll see you all once we uh, reach the uh, block the witch's blockade for this level. Bye bye. I would definitely say Pac-Man World has some uh, jazzy tunes here and there, namely with the um, opening like title screen music. Oh yeah, that that's a fun one. Like I'm glad they were able to like keep that with Repack. Yeah, they kept it, they kept that one completely intact. Mm -hmm. Didn't butcher it at all. Which again, it's like I still think back on that Repack soundtrack, and it's like I understand wanting to redo all those tracks, like maybe because maybe you didn't have the uh, the Red Book audio from the original game. Yeah. Aside from the ones they actually did keep into the game's uh, CD. Mm -hmm. But it's also like, why did you have to mimic the way it sounded when it was not on Red Book? Like, when it was uh, compressed and everything. I... Like, I don't get that at all. Yeah, I don't really know. And the fact that, like, um, I don't know if they corrected it since then, but I remember hearing that they didn't even credit the original composer. Damn. Oh, that sucks. Right, they did, and they did say they uh, update that they they did say in a uh, Twitter post that they were going to make an update in the future for to include that. Okay. Which I mean, I do agree with Logan. I'm wondering what's taking them so long to do that in the first place. <laughs> also, I'm sorry, Critter, you gotta go. No, oh, my. <laughs> but the sounds those things make. Ah. Ah. They don't even sound. They don't sound like they're mad. They sound like I what yeah. What I ever do to you is, I, I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you're in my way, I mean, if I chomp on you, it's all your fault. Uh, look, I'm just doing my own business. You're the one that's deliberately walking on my path, so I ask you, do you, are you in the wrong, or am, or am I in the wrong, or are you? I don't know, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> don't. quite frankly, I forgot. Also, all right, with that all said, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Uh, here's the blockade that I mentioned earlier. Yes. And I made sure to collect every single thing, unlike that this poor display you saw earlier. So now we get to be warped to another portion of the level. How handy! Oh, ooh. Da, 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 dum. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I, I'm officially just—I've I've checked out. I'm, I'm officially in the mode where I'm just like, I just find the song just so. Oh, well. Oops. Well, the, the Hold on, I think I can. Where's the Can we fix this? Oh, it's, it's over there, but it's me. It's, it's in the way. Get that so cardio I have in. to wait this Get out. Get that cardio in. Go on, go on. <laughs> you can do it, Miss Pac-Man. Don't, don't, don't fall for Professor Pac's lies. You sometimes need to watch your weight. Easy does it. Done. That isn't really something you missed out on, Jordy. Like, so, there, occasionally you'll come across holograms of Professor Pack, and he'll tell you like certain, like about certain object, yeah. like certain, like what certain things do, or like what you want to do here and all that. At one point, they, he brings up like when you when they bring up he brings up the uh, dots and all top that. One first, where it's top like, one first. Push. Yeah, you're right. I should do that. Push first. the top one because that's a much longer timer, and that gives you enough time to. Anyway, back to you. Yeah. So, so, so. And he's just all like, "You're you're a, you're a Miss Pac-Man. You you don't no diet for you." And I was like, "What the hell?" I'm just saying, oh. sometimes it pays to be fat, and there's no one in Packland fatter than you. What is the purpose? Wait, okay, so there's a puzzle here. I'm trying to figure out what we're supposed to do. No, I know I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do. Uh, this is the one that pushes... Yeah, that's... So I just push that back a bit. Push this. And now we gotta... Hoop up. We gotta... Oh, I see, I see. To push it down and quickly get back... Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, dear. Oh. But sometimes the treadmills can sort of, you know, be getting the legs. I don't think you have enough time, though. Oh, yeah, this thing was not supposed to be here. Yeah. I should probably get rid of that first. Okay, so we do another quick redo. So, one. We do a redo. We do what real players sometimes forget to do. Yeah, we had it. <laughs> I should probably get you out of the way, too. There you go. Alright. Now the game's on. Okay. Now? Oh, come on. <sighs> Except the treadmill's gotta be a bitch again. Agreed, but hey, yeah. we're, okay, we're making better time. Seven, six. <laughs> Two. There we go. Don't just stand there facing it, asking it a conversation. <laughs> Miss Pac-Man lasts in the face of danger. Let's think, let, now let's just hope that we got everything out of that area. Here we it's are. like, I'm property. Oh! oh boy. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like just 
So I just wanted to continue off with Logan said that the notion of like Miss Pac-Man is doesn't know like fear or pain and it's like actually you you said that she doesn't know fear. It's like I moaned by at games. Pain is numb to me. <laughs> Poor dear. Yeah, just that whole situation still bites. Oh, How did you yeah. bah, 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 bah. is that a mummy? It's a mummy. Yes. Yeah. Yep. It's a it's a pack mummy. They 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 seem slow and stupid <laughs> when you first encounter them, but the moment they see you, they will immediately start Tasmanian devil spinning your way straight to you. And, and I completely yeah. forgot how they like <laughs> yell in agony when you eat them, which is fair. Mm -hmm. Completely fair. Mummification doesn't automatically mean that you can't feel pain. Oh, uh, well, okay. Hey, there we go. But yeah, I believe that's pretty much all this, uh... Actually, yeah, that's right. This is the way out. Now we just gotta make the arduous trip back. Oh. <laughs> back. Not front, back. Sorry, of course I have it. I, I know, I mean, because you think, it's like, oh, the shiny, I gotta go for it. And because it spawns you right next to it, not out of it. I, I see where you're coming from. It. But I like the shiny. I love shiny things. Love I love shiny things. Oh, it's such a good fun. All right, and we out. We outie like a we outie like a uh, RB like an Arby's uh, promotional. Out the wrong I... way every time. What? Okay, there you go. Actually, I think you only he need the one. He does not have the meats. Oh, we'll do both. Why not? Pac-Man, we have the pellets. I wonder how long it takes those people <laughs> and how much they pay that guy to make those cardboard cutout things on Twitter. Do they still do that? I think they do. I think they do, but I bet not for long with Twitter. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Hey, they, 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 no, they might, if they're still doing it, they, they might find an excuse to do so even beyond Twitter. I was about to say, like, I, I'm sure there are other websites they can go. The Arby's cardboard guy is going to have yeah. to make a pillow for it or I talk who account like the rest of us. <laughs> Or a Tumblr. Actually, so what I was just Arby's thinking, Arby's going like... to have an official Tumblr account soon. Well, no, no, they could also do Instagram. Our Instagram. Yeah, that, that is true. Instagram is pretty popular. Backing up, uh, Arby's, a stupid idea, because I know you're never going to hear me, even though I've texted you, like, multiple times now, uh, <laughs> that... You, you promised me a triple salami burger. <laughs> Sorry, just see the texting times. It's like, why won't you go out with me, Arby? Is it because I? Is it because I ate Burger King that one time? Because I swear I could change, baby. I would die before I eat Burger King again. Hey, Burger King's alright. It is not alright. I don't really eat Burger King. I don't know King. which Burger King you're going to, but they are like the, they are like the golden like diamond in the rough of Burger Kings if it's alright. Yeah, I'll agree with that because the one near me is not that great either. All of my like, just. I have been into a Burger King one time and it was to use the restroom because I just, it was like a long, like, commute. And I have been, for context, I have been in water park restrooms and gas station restrooms that were cleaner than that Burger King's restroom. Anywho, last map opened, actually. Oh. Yeah, so that'll, that'll pretty much be there and ready for us whenever we do the multiplayer session, uh, session for this Hi. game, but that won't be for a little while. Okay. Because, well, now it's time for us to start doing the rest of the game. Although that will save, be st saved for the next session. Okay. So, uh, until next time, Wait, uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time. Oh, okay. Waka waka. Arby's called me.